The day began like any other, with the sun's gentle ascent casting a familiar warmth upon the waking city. I recall the simple pleasure of sipping my morning coffee, indulging in a fleeting moment of tranquillity, before the impending chaos unfolded. Yet tranquillity was but a fleeting illusion. Abruptly, the sky darkened, shrouded by an ominous shadow that crept over the earth as if the sun had forsaken its duty. Bewilderment gripped me as I gazed upward, beholding the colossal vessel slicing through the canvas of the heavens. They were unlike anything humanity had ever witnessed silent, menacing and utterly alien. A surge of fear and disbelief pulsed through me, intertwining with the racing beat of my heart. As the initial shock rippled outward, the world descended into a frenzied panic and uncertainty. News channels erupted in chaos, their anchors struggling to maintain composure as they delivered the impossible tidings alien ships were invading Earth. It sounded like a tale ripped from the pages of science fiction. Yet, here it was, unfolding before our disbelieving eyes. Governments issued emergency broadcasts, urging calm amidst the rising tide of hysteria. But how does one remain calm in the face of a threat transcending comprehension? Amidst the turmoil, I found myself entangled within the confines of my living room, transfixed by the surreal spectacle unfolding on the television screen. My phone rang incessantly, a chorus of desperate voices seeking solace, seeking answers that I too could not provide. In that moment, humanity stood at the precipice of its own insignificance. We, who had arrogantly deemed ourselves masters of our domain, now were reduced to mere spectators in the theatre of our own fate. Yet, amidst the chaos, a faint glimmer of unity emerged a collective resolve to confront the unknown and stand together against the encroaching darkness. Governments set aside their differences, alliances forged in the crucible of uncertainty. Scientists and military strategists pooled their expertise, striving to decipher the enigma of the alien threat. Amidst the turmoil, I found myself drawn to a local community group, one of many that had sprung into existence in the wake of the invasion. Together we organised, rallied and fought back in whatever small way we could. Fear still lingered, a shadow lurking at the edges of our consciousness. Yet it was eclipsed by a sense of purpose, a determination to defy the odds, to reclaim our destiny from the grasp of the unknown. Thus began humanity's journey into the abyss, where uncertainty reigned supreme and the fate of our world hung in the balance. As the first chapter of our tale unfolded, we stood poised upon the threshold of chaos, ready to confront whatever lay ahead with unwavering resolve. In the wake of the invasion, the world had become a landscape of shattered illusions and fractured realities. Every corner of civilization echoed with the resounding cry of desperation, a cacophony of fear and uncertainty reverberating through society's fabric. Within the confines of a makeshift refugee camp, Humanity's struggle for survival played out amidst a backdrop of devastation. Tents stretched for miles, a sea of makeshift shelters housing those displaced by the encroaching darkness. Families huddled together, their faces etched with weariness and despair, their once comfortable lives reduced to mere memories. Amongst the crowd, I found myself navigating a labyrinth of sorrow and suffering, each face a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Yet, Amidst the despair, a flicker of hope lingered a determination to rebuild and reclaim what had been lost. As I moved through the camp, I encountered individuals whose stories mirrored the collective anguish of our fractured world. There was Sarah, a young mother, who had lost everything in the chaos of the invasion, her eyes haunted by the memories of a life now shattered beyond repair. And then there was Marcus, a veteran of countless battles, his stoic demeanour belying the pain that gnawed at his soul. Their tales spoke of a world torn asunder, where the lines between friend and foe blurred amidst the chaos of conflict. Yet, amidst the despair, a flicker of hope lingered a determination to rebuild and reclaim what had been lost. As the days turned into weeks, the refugee camp became a microcosm of humanity's struggle for survival. Resources dwindled, tensions simmered beneath the surface, and yet, amidst the despair, a flicker of hope lingered a determination to rebuild, to reclaim what had been lost. As the second chapter of our tale unfolded, I found myself confronted with the harsh reality of our existence, a world teetering on the brink of collapse, yet poised upon the threshold of redemption. Amidst the chaos and despair, 
I clung to the belief that within the darkest recesses of our souls, there lay the seeds of hope waiting to bloom amidst the ruins of our shattered dreams. In the aftermath of the invasion, a tapestry of resilience and unity began to take shape amidst the chaos and devastation. Across the globe, disparate voices rose in unison, weaving together the threads of humanity's collective spirit in a desperate bid for survival. Amidst the ruins of once great cities, pockets of resistance emerged, each a testament to the indomitable will of those who refused to yield to the alien onslaught. A new sense of purpose arose from the ashes of despair, binding individuals from all walks of life in a shared quest for redemption. Within the heart of the resistance, I found myself drawn into a web of camaraderie and determination, each encounter a testament to the strength within the human soul. Amongst the ranks of the fighters, I encountered individuals whose stories echoed the resilience of the human spirit from the seasoned veteran who had weathered countless storms to the wide-eyed idealist whose unwavering optimism served as a beacon of hope amidst the darkness. As we stood shoulder to shoulder, united in our defiance, I witnessed the birth of a new world one forged in the crucible of adversity, yet bound together by the bonds of solidarity and shared sacrifice. Across the globe, individuals from all walks of life came together, their differences cast aside in the face of a common threat. As the third chapter of our saga unfolded, I found myself swept up in the currents of change, a witness to the birth of a new era one, defined not by the divisions of the past, but by the unity of purpose that burned within the hearts of all who dared to defy the darkness. In the wake of the devastating alien assault, humanity found itself thrust into a new reality, one where survival depended not only on the strength of arms, but also on the resilience of the human spirit. As the dust settled and the smoke cleared, the true extent of the damage became painfully clear. Cities lay in ruins, once thriving communities reduced to rubble and ash. Yet amidst the destruction, signs of life persisted small beacons of hope amidst the darkness. In the heart of the resistance, I witnessed firsthand the incredible resilience of the human spirit. From makeshift shelters to impromptu medical clinics, individuals banded together, pooling their resources and expertise in a desperate bid to rebuild what had been lost. However, it was not just physical infrastructure that needed rebuilding. The emotional scars left by the invasion ran deep, haunting the survivors long after the last alien ship had departed. Yet even in the face of such trauma, I marveled at the resilience of the human psyche, the capacity to endure and overcome even the most unimaginable of horrors. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, the seeds of hope began to take root amidst the ashes of despair. Communities came together, bound by a shared determination to rebuild and reclaim what had been taken from them. It was a slow and arduous process, marked by setbacks and challenges, but with each passing day, the light of hope burned a little brighter. As the fourth chapter of our story unfolded, I found myself humbled by the resilience of the human spirit. Inspired by the courage and determination of those who refused to be broken by adversity. For in the darkest of times, the most minor acts of kindness and the quiet strength of the human heart shine the brightest. In the aftermath of the invasion, a new spirit of unity swept across the globe, binding together people of all nations, creeds and backgrounds in a common cause. As the dust settled and the initial shock of the alien assault began to fade, humanity faced a choice to succumb to fear and division or to rise above adversity and stand united against a familiar foe. And rise we did. From the bustling streets of urban metropolises to the quiet corners of rural villages, people banded together, setting aside their differences and working hand in hand to rebuild what had been lost. It was a testament to the strength of the human spirit, the capacity to find common ground even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. I witnessed the power of diversity firsthand in the heart of the resistance. Scientists, soldiers, artists and activists from every corner of the globe came together each bringing their unique perspective and expertise. It was a symphony of human ingenuity, a testament to the boundless potential within our collective diversity. But not just our diversity united us, it was our shared humanity, our common bond as inhabitants of this fragile planet we call home. 
In the face of a threat that transcended borders and ideologies, we found strength in our shared experiences and a renewed sense of purpose in our collective struggle. As the fifth chapter of our story unfolded, I found myself filled with a sense of awe at the resilience and determination of the human spirit, for in the darkest of times our differences often unite us, forging bonds that are stronger than steel and more enduring than time itself. In the wake of the initial chaos, humanity began to find its footing in the face of the alien threat, no longer content to survive. We started to push back, determined to reclaim what was rightfully ours. With each passing day, the resistance grew stronger, bolstered by newfound alliances and a growing sense of purpose. We were no longer just fighting to survive, we were fighting to win. The key to our success lies in our ability to adapt and innovate. Scientists and engineers worked tirelessly to reverse engineer captured alien technology, uncovering weaknesses and vulnerabilities we could exploit to our advantage. But perhaps our most unexpected breakthrough came from an unlikely source, the Earth itself. By harnessing the power of nature, we were able to turn the environment against our invaders, using everything from extreme weather conditions to the very terrain itself as weapons in our arsenal. As the tide of battle began to turn in our favour, a sense of cautious optimism swept through the ranks of the resistance. We had faced impossible odds and emerged victorious, proving once and for all that humanity would not go down without a fight. But even as we celebrated our victories, we knew that the hardest battle still lay ahead. The aliens were not ones to give up quickly, and they would stop at nothing to achieve their goals. Yet, as I stood among my fellow fighters, gazing out at the horizon with renewed hope, I knew we were ready for whatever challenges lay ahead. Amidst the chaos of war, a daring mission emerged as a beacon of hope for humanity. The aliens had developed a superweapon capable of unimaginable destruction, and it fell upon a select group of individuals to disable it at all costs. I was chosen for this mission not just for my skills, but also for my ability to inspire those around me. Alongside a team of courageous fighters, we embarked on a perilous journey deep into enemy territory disguised in stolen alien armour. Every step was fraught with danger, every moment filled with the weight of our task. Failure was not an option, for the fate of humanity hung in the balance. As we navigated through the labyrinthine corridors of the alien facility, our resolve was tested like never before. But guided by intelligence gathered from intercepted communications, we pressed on, determined to succeed where others had failed. Finally, we reached the heart of the enemy's operation, the control room housing the superweapon. But standing between us and our objective was a security system Unlike anything we had ever encountered, a complex puzzle that required us to think like the aliens themselves. With every passing moment, tension mounted, and each decision carried the weight of our collective future. But in the end, our unwavering determination and sheer human ingenuity saw us through. As the last piece of the puzzle fell into place, the security system was deactivated, and the superweapon was rendered inert. At that moment, a wave of relief washed over us, tempered by the knowledge of the sacrifices that had brought us to this point. Our mission was a success, a testament to humanity's resilience and courage in the face of overwhelming odds. But more than that, it symbolised our refusal to be conquered, our unwavering belief in the power of hope. As we emerged from the depths of the alien facility, victorious but weary, I couldn't help but feel a sense of pride in what we had accomplished. At that moment, we had not just disabled a weapon, but struck a blow against tyranny. We paved the way for humanity's brighter future. With the disabling of the alien superweapon, a renewed sense of hope swept through the ranks of the resistance. News of our success spread like wildfire, igniting a spark of optimism in the hearts of all who fought for Earth's future. But amidst the celebration, there lingered a solemn reminder of the sacrifices that had been made. The landscape bore the scars of battle, a testament to the price of our defiance. Yet even amid destruction, signs of resilience began to emerge. Communities rallied together, rebuilding what had been lost with a determination born of necessity. New structures rose from the ruins of our cities, symbols of our unwavering spirit and our refusal to be defeated. Memorials sprung up in every corner of the globe, honouring the fallen and serving as a reminder of the cost of our freedom. 
Each name etched in stone was a testament to the courage and sacrifice of those who had given their lives for the cause. But amidst the solemnity, there was also a sense of unity, a shared purpose that transcended borders and ideologies. People from all walks of life came together, united by a common goal to ensure that the horrors of war would never again darken our world. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, the rebuilding process continued, slow but steady. Every cleared rubble, rebuilt home and planted seeds symbolised our resilience and determination to forge a new path forward. But amidst the physical reconstruction, something even more profound was taking place, a transformation of the human spirit. The bonds forged in the crucible of war grew stronger, binding us together in a shared vision of a better tomorrow. We were no longer defined by our differences, but by our shared humanity and collective resilience. The global coalition formed in the darkest days of the invasion now stood as a shining example of what we could achieve when we stood together. As I stood among my fellow fighters, surveying the progress that had been made, I couldn't help but feel a sense of pride in what we had accomplished. In the face of unimaginable adversity, we had emerged stronger, wiser and more united than ever. The road ahead was still long and uncertain, filled with challenges and obstacles yet to be overcome. But as long as we stood together and remained united in our determination to protect our home, I knew there was nothing we couldn't achieve. Amidst the rebuilding efforts and the newfound sense of unity, echoes of the past resurfaced, threatening to unravel the fragile peace we had fought so hard to achieve. It began with whispers and rumours of dissent brewing within the ranks of the resistance. Some questioned the motives of our leaders, accusing them of sacrificing too much in the pursuit of victory. Others harboured resentment towards those they deemed responsible for the devastation wrought upon our world. As tensions simmered beneath the surface, I was caught in the crossfire, torn between loyalty to my comrades and the nagging doubts that gnawed at my conscience. Was our cause truly just or had we become no better than those we fought against? Seeking answers, I embarked on a journey into the heart of the conflict, tracing its roots back to the beginning. Along the way, I encountered individuals whose stories mirrored my own, each grappling with doubts and fears. Together, we delved into the dark corners of our past, confronting the demons that haunted us and threatening to tear us apart. But amidst the turmoil, we also discovered moments of redemption, glimmers of hope that reminded us of the resilience of the human spirit. As I listened to the stories of those around me, I began to understand that our struggles were not in vain and that our sacrifices had not been forgotten. Each battle fought, each life lost had served a purpose greater than ourselves, a testament to the strength of the human will. Armed with this newfound understanding, I returned to the fold, determined to confront the challenges ahead with renewed resolve. Though the echoes of the past may linger, they could never drown out the voice of hope that burned within us all. And so, with heads held high and hearts ablaze, we marched forward into the unknown, united in our quest for a better future. Ultimately, not the battles we fought or the victories we won that defined us, but the courage to face our fears and the strength to rise above them. As the dust settled and the echoes of our past struggles faded into memory, a new threat loomed on the horizon, casting shadows of uncertainty over our hard-won peace. Rumours began to spread like wildfire, whispers of an unseen enemy lurking in the depths of space, waiting to strike at the heart of our newfound unity. Some dismissed these tales as mere superstition, the remnants of a bygone era clinging to the fringes of our society. But others, myself included, sensed the truth hidden within the shadows. Driven by a sense of duty and a thirst for answers, I embarked on a journey to uncover the secrets of this elusive adversary tracing their origins back to the furthest reaches of the galaxy. Along the way, I encountered allies and adversaries, each with an agenda and part to play in the unfolding drama. Together, we delved into the darkness, braving dangers beyond imagination in our quest for the truth. But the deeper we ventured, the more elusive our quarry became, slipping through our fingers like shadows in the night. Frustrated but undeterred, I refused to give up hope, knowing that the fate of our world hung in the balance. Though the path ahead was difficult, I was determined to see it through to the end, whatever the cost. And so, with the world's weight upon my shoulders, I pressed onward, guided by the light of conviction burning within my heart. Ultimately, not the shadows of tomorrow would define us, but the courage to face them head-on, 
armed with our resolve and indomitable spirit. Thank you so much for journeying with me through this story. If my tales add a bit of magic to your day, I'd be thrilled if you could show your support by subscribing, liking, and sharing your thoughts in the comments. Every bit of interaction truly means the world to me. Until our next adventure, this is Marcus. I wish you inspiring dreams and beautiful stories. See you soon.